Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, as always, appreciate everybody who is returning to the channel. If you are new here, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video. Today, uh, starting off with another chest day. Um, this is the uh, the second to last day on phase one. I'm extremely excited uh, about this. So, you know, just trying to finish out everything as strong as possible. Make sure that I am as strict as possible with uh, with everything that I'm doing. But yeah, like I said, got to first off just starting with chest day here and uh, starting off with the uh, just flat bench press. Like I said in uh, a few of my episodes now, my compound lifts, my main compound lifts, the uh, the bench, deadlift, and squat have been some of my main focuses as of late. And, you know, my first sets for bench today felt really, really good. I felt really strong. Uh, everything was moving really smooth. You see 185 here is moving pretty quick. And just to, to note, I don't show all of my warm-up sets. Um, there's usually a set or two in between each clip. Uh, but, yeah, everything was feeling pretty strong. Up until this set, when I got to uh, when I got to 225, I don't know what what it was. I don't know if it was my leg drive or just not feeling as tight. But you're gonna see here in just a second the uh, the lift off went pretty well. It felt pretty good actually, right up until I went down. And you see, I get stuck here for a second. And yeah, I just. <laughs> just decided to go ahead and rack it and not not push myself any further uh on 225 um because as always i just i really do not want to hurt myself i'm really conscious of it so what i decided to do instead is go ahead and strip off a um strip off a 45 from each side and just rep out 135 for um, for as many reps as possible. Just do a little bit of a drop set, and you know I just kind of figure if I if I can't get the the weight that I am looking to get, then at least I am going to uh, to make sure that in the movement I get as much of a pump as possible into that muscle group. So you can see I just I stripped off 45, went straight into the drop set, and yeah, 135, I mean, it felt super light. So I probably could have just taken a little bit of a rest and gone straight back into 225 and probably gotten a couple more, but I figured why why risk it? You know, I'm so close to the end of this especially and uh, and I really don't want to mess up my body, so just went ahead and, and dropped it down. After the bench, moved on to uh, some just inclined dumbbell press. And, you know... I, I really I like to switch off a lot between the the dumbbell press and the incline bench, but with the way that my elbow's been feeling lately, I the the dumbbells have you know have become my friends and and I've been able to really get a good stretch and and start lifting a lot heavier um, with with this press and yeah you know, just kind of working on those those stabilizer muscles. Uh, and I've been able to get a really, really good contraction and, uh, and pump with this. After the inclined dumbbell press, I moved into a, uh, a superset here. I don't usually uh, do a superset on, um, on my chest day, but I was really pressed for time, and this workout was, was already taking a, a good amount of time. So I decided that I was just going to put both of my next exercises together, which are some dumbbell incline flies uh, straight into some uh, some dips uh, that you're going to see here in a second. The incline flies with the dumbbells instead of the cables, those feel way better to me than, uh, the, than the cables. Um, the cables, I tend to feel a lot more in my shoulders uh, than I do in my chest. So I usually go just lightweight, high reps on those to get as much, uh, just as much of a pump as possible. Then moved into, like I said, straight into the the dips. Really hard movement for me, but I've been really proud of the progress that I've been seeing and just adding in, um, 
just adding in some more reps each workout. Last exercise here is just some straight cable flies. I love doing cable flies uh, as kind of the opposite of what I said on the incline dumbbell flies. The cable flies feel way better to me than the than the dumbbell when I'm just doing doing flat. But yeah, th- this was a really really good workout uh, last chest day of phase one. So um, not too much else to say about that other than just just finishing up here. Anyways, we'll check in with you here in the live clip. Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's just uh, 6.23 a.m. right now. I just finished up the, the workout, the heavy heavy workout today. Uh, you can see that I, I barely got one rep at 225, but I also hit a new low weigh-in today of 180.2, which getting down to 180 was my goal uh, for phase one. So pretty much there, right on time. Today's the, the second to last day, so... Yeah, pretty happy uh, overall. Like I said, heavy workout, but really good one. Um, I've got a pretty jam-packed day today. I think I'm on back-to-back calls all the way from 8.30 till 1.30. Um, I think, got to relook at my schedule, but yeah, it's going to be a busy day. going to be a really good day, though. Uh, I get to connect with a lot of people today that I have been trying to for the last... Uh, last three weeks or so uh, since the new year. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got going on today. Uh, so gonna go in, make some breakfast. Actually made my breakfast last night, so I'll show you what I have. And then we're gonna get about the day. So I figured today I would take you all through, um, I would say kind of a typical day of, of what I eat. Uh, so you saw there for breakfast, I just had some overnight oats. This had a total of 680 calories and 88 grams of protein um, between the uh, the oats, the yogurt, the protein powder that I used, uh, as well as some skim milk. And then, yeah, just ate on that, went straight into my reading uh, for the day and knocked that out. And, and the reason that I say... Um, you know, it's kind of a typical day of eating is because honestly, I just, I usually make my breakfast that day, but today was just super busy. Going ahead and uh, checking in here. It hasn't been too long uh, since we last spoke. Just finished up my breakfast and uh, and the reading, uh, as you saw. Now I am going ahead and doing a little, a little bit of a, a sunrise walk. Uh, it is seven, 10 right now so just uh i'm i'm doing this walk uh this early for a couple of reasons the first one is that these last couple days trying to do again just everything with really just just make everything a little bit harder um you know see how far i can push myself these last couple days and right now it is probably the coldest part of at least what the rest of the day is going to be. It's 37 right now uh, Fahrenheit. So doing that. And then second is because I'm feeling a little bit groggy this morning. Um, so just want to get the blood moving a little bit more before I start the day and get everything going. So yeah, you go ahead and get this walk out of the way. We'll check in later. Okay, checking back in. Just finished up my first few hours of meetings. It is uh, 12.30 now. Got about 15 minutes before my next meeting starts. Had just about 45 minutes uh, to come out, make some lunch. So just did that. Uh, Just made a little bit of, uh, I think, half a cup of white rice and five and a half ounces of sirloin. So uh, just topped it off with some soy sauce and some sriracha. 
I know it doesn't look too appetizing, but honestly, I just need to get something in really quick that's a little bit higher in protein. So this whole meal has, I believe, 650 calories and just under 40 grams of protein. My protein count for the day is, I believe, 124 and just about 1,300 calories. So got a lot of protein in already. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're just going throughout the day and we will check in with you later. Okay, finishing up the night here with some simple shrimp and rice with some veggie. Total of 34 grams of protein. And then uh, after I finished that, just to finish off the calories, I had two Oikos yogurts and uh, some whole wheat toast with some spray butter, which had 36 grams of protein. So total for the day was 2,070 calories and 194 grams of protein. So yeah, that'll do it for the uh, for the full day of eating. All right, good evening, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Um, you saw I finished up all the meals uh, just a few minutes ago, and yeah, finished up everything I needed to do uh, earlier in the day. So this was the second to last day. Tomorrow's the last day. Really excited, ready to be done, and uh, yeah, we'll check in with you tomorrow.